why we can be never too sure of anything. Knowledge is limited. It is fixed. It change, even it changes a little bit when new theories are found, new discoveries are made. But it is looked from a certain perspective. But reality is complete. It is dynamic. It is ever changing. It is not fixed. Only the dead things and uh, lifeless are fixed mostly. So you cannot be too sure of anything. If something is fixed, you can be sure. But if something is not fixed, you cannot be sure. I'll tell you a story from Osho's. There are two monasteries side by side. And they were rivaling monasteries. You know all this. Same thing which goes on with the regular people. It goes on with them. There were two young boy monks who used to buy vegetables for the monastery from the market. These monasteries were antagonistic because of the competition. And boys are boys. They forget this antagonism they meet in the market. And once two of these boys were going to the market from the rivaling monasteries, they met in the market. So one asked the other boy, where are you going? He said, wherever the winds are, take me. So he came back. He was unable to reply. He came back after his purchase to the monastery. He told his senior monk, I asked that boy, where he is going, he told wherever the wind blows. I am. I was at a loss to answer anything. I did not understand that. He said, no, our uh, people are much more intelligent than monastery disciples. We should never fail. We should be ready to reply. So tomorrow, when, he, when you ask the same question and if he replies, Ask him again, what happens if the wind does not blow? The boy was repeating the answer so long, he could not sleep the whole night. He tried again and again to imagine the scenario and his reply. So next morning, he was waiting for the purchase to go out. He went there, he met the same boy. He asked him, where are you going? This time the boy replied from the other monastery, he replied, wherever the lakes take me. So his ready-made answer was not useful. He was again at a loss to answer. So after the purchase again he came back and told the master, no, this guy is changing his answer, question and answer. I was asking the same question. Today he told, wherever my feet lead me. So I was at a loss to answer. This uh, monk was much more angry. No, no, again you have failed. Then uh, you should ask him tomorrow. If you have no feet, somebody has cut your feet. If there is no feet, where will you go? So tomorrow you ask the same question. So next day again this boy practiced the same day, night, overnight. He practiced dance. Next day he went to the market. And the boy was there from the rivaling monastery. He asked the question, where are you going? The boy replied, I am going to the market to get the vegetables. Again, the boy was stunned. He was unable to ask his prepared question. He told his monks, it is impossible. This boy goes on changing his answer. So I am unable to ask the further question. Osho says life is like that. Reality is not a fixed phenomenon. You will have to be present, spontaneous. Only then your response will be real. If your answer is fixed beforehand, from the past, from the society, from your conditioning, then you are dead. You have already missed. Tomorrow will come. You will be there. You will be fixed on the yesterday, the past, whatever people have taught you, that which has passed. All these minds which are too verbal are fixed like this. 
go on repeating what a pundit said or what a prophet said or what your holy book says. But reality is dynamic. Reality is ever changing. You should be in the moment to answer that, to see that reality. Before you are asked, your pundit will start answering. He has not answered because that was in yesterday's answer, not today's answer. Answer is dead already. It is from the memory. It should be dynamic. It should be in the present. That is what Osho says. A man of wisdom says what is there, alive, today, now. A man of knowledge already has an answer. But a man of wisdom does not have a ready-made answer. He has to look into the problem and find out the answer and tell you that. That is the difference. So, you can be too sure of the past. It is dead. You can repeat something from the memory, the answers. But reality is dynamic, ever-changing in the present. So, you cannot be too sure of it. You will have to look into it. Find out what it means. So don't be too sure of anything in your life. Thank you.